Fez here from Crypto Setups. Today I'm going to take you through a protocol called Astroport. It is an AMM on the Luna ecosystem and it's designed to swap assets basically. Think Uniswap, but uh, Astroport's designed with all the additions of Uniswap and Curve built into it so you can have different types of pools etc etc. What I'm going to show you today is how to swap between tokens, how you add a token that isn't in your wallet in case you've swapped and think funds have disappeared and um, how to add liquidity to different pools and show you what APRs are available and then I want to show you how you can claim some of the pool rewards and finally how you stake the native token called Astro. So let's dive right in. So when you enter the website the first thing you're greeted with is enter app so let's go there. A few call outs so you know in this tutorial I'm going to assume you know how you have your wallet set up and things like that so we're not going to go through the basics that this is once you have your wallet set up and some funds in it and you're looking to swap between assets or take advantage of some of the liquidity farming options on the AMM so the first time you use it you're greeted with this make sure you acknowledge and understand the risks of using any protocols and DeFi now the first thing you need to do is connect your wallet so let's connect it to your Terra station there's a whole heap to pick from first time I'm connecting this wallet so it'll ask me that. Now as I said the first thing I want to do is I'm going to swap between assets. Now there's no particular reason why I'm buying what I'm buying it's just for the purpose of this tutorial. So let's um, uh, for example I'm going to buy some Orion token. So the first thing you want to do is ensure you have UST in your wallet. As you can see I have $109 here. As you can see I have no Orion in my wallet. Now, uh, swapping is simple. How much ever you want to buy. So I'm going to buy $50 worth of Orion. And as soon as you type it, when you hit swap, it'll confirm it's giving you the rates. This is what you're looking at. The liquidity impact, as in price impact, and the route. So sometimes if there's no traditional pairs, it will it will swap between different assets until it arrives to what you want. So this, this route here shows you exactly what's happening. So in this case, it's just swapping UST to Orion. This is the rate and how much minimum. So typical AMM stuff. So once you hit the swap, you'll be presented where you put your password and post. So that's what we'll do. And you can see a pending transaction. And it's done. Excellent. Now, what I wanted to do as well is show you how or what happens next. Now, I've got the wallet loaded up here. You can see I've done the swap and there's no Orion token. So the if you have your extension, you can expand it. This is just to make viewing easier. You can go add and just literally type R -R -O -N. there we go hit the plus symbol and boom there we go see funds haven't disappeared they're right there in your wallet and now you can see it noted excellent so that's out of the way and you now know how to swap tokens so what else can you do here so you can actually supply liquidity to different pools okay so let's click on the pool tab and currently we're on the swap then there's locked liquidity and there's governance and we'll get to all of that so this is giving you a bit of an overview of the entire protocol and if you scroll down, you can see different pools available. Now, these aren't pools you're in. If once you were in them, it'll show you up here. But you can see the APR. So this is what's showing you. Now, this is interesting. This is the total liquidity in the pool for the various assets. This is the APR. And when you go over here, it's telling you that it is, you know, based on performance in the last 24 hours. So you can see, for example, the Astro slash UST is has an APR of uh, 74%. But th but this is this is interesting. So make sure the way the Astroport protocol works is you get trading fees when you're in the LP pools and certain pools distribute the Astro token on top. And that's where the Astro generator APR comes in. So depending on what your strategy is, if, if you're trying to mine more of the Astro token, you can enter different LPs accordingly. So that is each to their own. I just wanted to make sure this made sense. So you can see with the Apollo, um, the pool APY, now this is the trading fees that happen in the pool will be 3%. Now the Astro Generator APR, so the Astro, Generate, um, the Astro token on top that you get is 
up to 43% at the moment because it's it's tied in with what the price of the Astro token is. And then finally, you've got the Apollo reward. So this is the native token as well. So you can see by entering that Apollo pool, you're going to get Astro and Apollo tokens. So Orion, now my goal, I want to acquire as much Astro as, as I can. And this is why I swapped a little bit of my USDT to Orion because I'm going to supply some liquidity to this pool. And you can see while the trading fees are very low, uh, at the Astro token that's being distributed to this pool is 106 APR, okay? so. And if you keep going, like you can see all the different pools, but that, that's not the point. I want to show you now, now that you understand how the APRs work, let's add to the pool. So simple thing, add liquidity. And in this case, I have got this Orion and this. So I'm going to go max. Remember when you add to the pool, it will be, it will take the same value on each side, not the same. So the Orion token is $179 and $49, but you can see the $179 is valued at $49.85 and you've got $49.85 here. So it's always the same value. Now, if you're not aware of impermanent loss and things like that, I'm not going to explain that in this video. Please take the time to do research, but there are risks when you enter the LP pool and you want to ensure you understand what those risks are with impermanent loss. Okay, so next things. Let's add the liquidity. You can see down here, it's got a stake LP token. So luckily you want to have this tick because if your goal is to generate the Astro token and all the rewards associated with the pool, you have to add it to the LP and then stake the LP. Fortunately, this process, it automatically does that second part for you as long as you leave this ticked. So let's add liquidity and it gives you a bit of a breakdown here. Confirm add. And let's post it. Great, you can see it's provided. And now you can see right away that under my pools, it's showing me that I've supplied $99 in total worth of liquidity. And this is what we explained before. So great, now you have supplied liquidity. Now, how would you remove it if you want to? So you can click on manage and withdraw, but see right away, there's nothing. Oh, why? Remember how I explained the staking piece? So what you want to do is first, if you want to withdraw your LP ever, max, unstake the LP token, and then go into manage and withdraw. That's it, and your LP's out. But I'm not gonna do that. I've just added it, so I'm gonna leave it there. Okay, so now you've added all that, you come back a day later after supplying your liquidity and you, you want to claim your rewards. So what I've done now is I've got another wallet just quickly set up so I can show you how you can claim your rewards of all the different pools. In in the moments ago, I showed you one LP pool that we added to, which was Orion and UST. Uh, in, in this claiming video, I have a bunch of pools I'm in so you can see how it will claim it all in one go. So if, if you put now, remember, if you put $100 in, your rewards after one day based on 100% APR, as you do the math, yeah, <laughs> it, it won't be a lot. But if you've added a substantial amount of money, yes, it adds up quite quickly. So here is another wallet that I have set up, and you can see I have a total value of $165 to claim. And when I click on it, you can see it breaks down based on the different pools I'm in. So for PSI, Astra, and Orion. I've got this much to claim. So how do you do it? You just hit claim rewards. So I'll go through the process. And as you can see, it has claimed my amount. It's just claimed. And I have a few pending rewards from one of my locked pools, but that's okay. So that's how you claim that. Next up, what I wanna show you is how you stake the Astro token. And let's talk about that a little bit. Okay, I'm back to the old wallet. now. You can see just moments ago, I showed you the other wallet, but you can see I've already started occurring rewards. And, and this was what I talked about earlier. So if I leave this for a few days, it'll it'll gather enough and I can claim the rewards. But now what I want to do is, so we've showed you quite a bit and I want to show you the governance aspect. So uh, in the example I show you, I was going to get uh, Astro tokens as a reward. What can I do with the protocol's native token? Well, I'm not going to go into all its different use cases, but one of the biggest things that is available at the moment is you can stake it. And when you stake it, you get 
rewards. Now, the way the pools are designed is a portion of all the trading fees for all the pools on Astros port go to um, the stakers. So, of the uh, of the token Astro. So, uh, it is as long as Astro being is doing some insane amounts of trading, as long as its user base grows and there's a lot of trading activity, if you're holding the Astro, Astro token and staking it, you are going to earn a decent amount. And just looking at it here, so this at the moment you can see, now the staking feature has just launched, so what's happened is since the protocol launched a while back, they have been holding the, all the fees for the period of time the protocol has been operational since January, I believe. And now they're, they're doing a lot of the uh, uh, distribution process to all the stakers. So it is quite wise to stake your Astro. Now the way it works is quite simple. There's normal Astro, which is Astro. And when you stake it, it's called X Astro. Now, uh, some people get confused by this, but X Astro is basically staked Astro. X Astro is like AUST, where it's always growing in value. So if today you swap one Astro, uh, as a not swap, if you stake one Astro, you may get 0.99 X Astro. But five days from now, depending on how many fees and how much has happened, um, you'd go to stake one Astro, you may get 0.98. So, and the reverse is, is when you unstake, you'll get the one Astro back for less X Astro. I hope that's helped. So... All you do to stake is literally hit stake, how much you want to stake. So in this case, I'm going to stake five of my Astro that I uh, have on this wallet. Stake. Excellent. So remember what I just said moments ago, you've got X Astro. I went five, I got 4.86. Now, if I want to unstake this, you can see what should happen. Oh, it's not. Here we go. It will swap it back for pretty much five Astro. That, that's how it works. So, um, yep, it tells you over there. That's what I wanted to call out. See this five? So that's how the process works. So don't panic. But when X Astro, now if you leave it, you can understand maybe um, in 10 days, this goes to say 4.78, gives you five. That's how it's growing in value. Okay. So I think that's pretty much what I wanted to cover in the tutorial. I've given you basically everything you need to get started with the site. And um, so swapping, making sure you can add the token into your wallet, uh, supplying liquidity and what the APRs and all the bonuses mean and how you can stake Astro for X Astro and what all that means. As always, if you liked, please share, subscribe. And if there's anything you want me to cover, please let me know and we'll get that out. I have um, come back and definitely looking to release a ton more content on the channel. So really appreciate everyone sticking around. Take care.